Hello, welcome to SharePoint Site Administration training video series. I'm Chirag and in this video, let's look at how some of the SharePoint infrastructure components that play important role while performing SharePoint administration tasks. SharePoint is a huge platform and consists of many infrastructure components. It has its own way of defining these components and the role of each components. Also, let's take a look at how the terminology applies to few of such components in this video. In a typical organization, an IT department establishes a SharePoint environment by creating and configuring a SharePoint farm within that environment. In a SharePoint environment, a farm is a set of one or more server computers working together to provide SharePoint infrastructure to an organization. A farm contains one or more web servers. A farm contains web servers that host web applications. A farm also has one central administration web applications, which allows creation and configuration of web applications and other infrastructure configurations. A web application, um, you, can, you can consider it as a website um, and can contain or point to one or more site collections. A site collection is a container of SharePoint sites and each site collection requires a top level site. In addition to the required top level site, a site collection can also contain a hierarchy of child sites. A site is an application with an extensible, fully customizable user interface. A site gets created from a built-in site templates. They are predefined site templates, which are actually a set of files with site structure and its configuration that serves a specific purpose to the content. In this slide, you can see that there are two diagrams this first diagram is actually a web application uh, model, object model and a web application architecture. And you can see that here you can create one or more site collections here. And this particular box represents a particular site collection. And there is a top level website under it, the top level site. And the top level site can contain one or more subsites. And further, each subsite can contain further more subsites right now within this particular subsite or the site you can have one or more list or libraries which are basically tables with columns and records and each list has these fields and columns and then you can have items which are actually record within that list so this is how the, the, the content is organized logically within the SharePoint site collection. The second diagram is actually shows you that a web, this is the web application and within that web application, uh, you have a site collection one and site collection two. So just a way of defining how you can also have multiple site collection within a single website. In this slide, you can see that I have um, shown you more detailed view of the site collection content and how uh, different types of content you can add within the site collection and each, each subsites. So you have here top level site within a site collection one and then a top site top level site is actually a site. So basically you can add list libraries, web page, a discussion board, survey and also you can add subsite under it. So these are the child sites. Each child size is actually a site, so they can have the same sort of a content at that level also. And then the sub site can also have a child size. So you can imagine that how, how actually streamline the content creation and how your content is gets organized uh, in terms of containership. The, this this particular um, this particular diagram actually site collection two uh, shows it with the naming concept. Like I say, have a let's say this is a demo site Contoso, uh, and then you can have a list libraries and web page here at the root level. Also, you can create a I have a, created a site a sub site uh, which is blogs. You can have then also create blogs into it within this uh, let's say financial blog or a marketing blog. A communication blogs things like that in this slide you can see that a SharePoint environment has typically certain user levels and their roles so uh, the first level of users are the farm administrators uh, they oversee SharePoint farm activities health backup restore jobs 
they manage farm level components, services, web servers. They also occasionally write some scripts for performing automated and maintenance tasks. The second and third level is the site collection administrators and site administrators. These folks actually manage site collection level administrative tasks, content, security, data integrity, feature management, solution management. Uh, they are responsible for giving access to different users. They are also uh, responsible to actually defining the various site administrators. The fourth one is the database administrator. This, this role actually uh, works in the back end. Database administrator manages database servers, performs backup of databases, maintains security and reliability of a database servers in the farm. Now, SharePoint also exposes full potential through back end APIs that a developer can use and build custom SharePoint solutions. And also, developers provide overall design of SharePoint hosted applications and solutions. The last user role is the end user who visits the site and consume all the information available on the site. They optionally also log in with pre-assigned pre credentials or they can also just log in as anonymous users. This screen shows SharePoint 2010 team site homepage and um, next screen in this one, uh, I have displayed a SharePoint 2013 or SharePoint 2016 team site homepage. And you can see that uh, there is a huge difference uh, between the the site layout and how the each components has been displayed there are certain some new new all, new sections are also appearing here uh, that are not in sharepoint 2010 team site homepage besides the team site homepage i have in this slide i have put um, sharepoint 2016 central administration site homepage uh, and you can see that you have the application management where you can create uh, manage web applications, you can create site collections, you can monitor the farm. Uh, here is the security section. Here is the backup of, backup and restore. Um, here are all the system settings where it shows all the servers in the farm. Uh, all these other links actually are uh, other landing pages which much more um, advanced settings on those pages. This concludes the video. Thanks for listening. Bye.